Today I'm going to show you how to attach sew on snaps to your garment using a sewing machine. So sew on snaps look kind of like this or these little metal or plastic pieces that will lock together and act like a closure. So they're often used on things like the crotch of a bodysuit um, or a lot in children's clothing. So here I have a bodysuit I made recently and here are the snaps, they just go together, pop them on, and then pull them apart to release. So you can sew these on using your sewing machine the same way that you would use your sewing machine to sew on buttons. So my machine comes with a little foot that looks like this, and you attach it, and then underneath the blue part, you put your snap or your button, and then zigzag over to attach it. You should reference your sewing machine's manual to make sure that you get everything set up the way it recommends. I'm gonna show you today on a Brother CS6000i, um, but I think most machines work fairly much the same way. All right, let's get started. Okay, let's get our machine set up. I've attached the button foot to the machine and now we need to set our stitch. So you can use a regular zigzag stitch or my machine recommends using the 40 stitch. And this is just like a zigzag except that when you back stitch, it will stitch in the same spot over and over to lock the stitch. So I'm going to go to stitch 40 and then I'm going to set my stitch width to zero. And then we'll figure out what the correct stitch width is once we have the snap under the machine. So to get our fabric ready, well, this is a sample piece of fabric and we have our snap. So I'm going to put the snap onto the fabric where I want to stitch it. And then to hold it in place, I'm going to put a piece of tape over the top of the snap. And then we can just stitch right over the tape and pull it away when we're done stitching. So let's slide our fabric under the presser foot. And we want to drop the presser foot in the location so that the needle will go into two of the holes of the snap. So now we want to go very slowly and use the hand crank to see if we have the correct stitch width. And we want to go slowly so that we make sure that the needle goes into the holes of the snap and doesn't actually hit the snap and break the needle. So let's stitch very slowly. And yes, went into one hole and then it moves over to the left and it goes into that hole too. <laughs> it goes into that hole too. So that's perfect. We don't have to adjust our stitch width. Sometimes, um, depending on the size of your snap, you'll need a larger or smaller stitch width. So now that we know we're in the right position, we can go ahead and stitch a few stitches. And that's probably good. And I'll back stitch. So that locks it in place. And then we'll lift our needle and turn it around to do the other side. Right here, I'm stitching on the nipple side of the uh, snap, if that's what you call it. <laughs> um, so you need to kind of keep the snap in front of the presser foot. Um, the other side of the snap you can put right under this presser foot. So let's see if we have this in the right spot. Yes. And on the left too, perfect. So we will stitch back and forth. All right, back stitch. We'll lift our needle and cut these threads. And here's your snap. We'll take the tape off. And there it is, all done. So much faster than sewing it on by hand. 
So I hope that you found that tutorial helpful. As you can see, it's much faster to sew snaps on with a machine than by hand. And of course, there are still some instances where you'll want to sew them on by hand. For instance, if you're sewing them to the lining of a dress or jacket, then and you don't want the stitching to be visible on the outside, then you would do a slip stitch by hand and just keep all that stitching hidden underneath. Uh, remember, the most important thing is to go really slow at first and make sure you have the correct stitch width. I've found that my default width of 3.5 works most of the time, but just be careful because you don't want to break a needle. Well, I hope this was helpful. Let me know in the comments if there are any other videos that you might be interested in seeing about sewing. All right, bye. bye.